You know, every great love story has to start somewhere. Mm -hmm. For Lauren and I, ours began in a 12 by 12 room on a sound stage in Atlanta. Look, very similar to this. I'm having yeah. flashbacks. <laughs> I'm Benedict. I'm Monique, and we're getting married. One time I went to visit Monique in Vegas uh, when obviously we were in a long distance relationship and she kept bringing it up. Like, you know, we should just get married here and there. I honestly, on my end, I thought she was joking. No, Being, I said it like every day. Yeah, I thought she was just, you know, And he was only there for like three days. Yeah. <laughs> and it's coming full circle. Honestly, my friends will tell you, Monique knew she was gonna be with Ben from when we started hanging out in college. I was with Rayshawn, who's now one of my bridesmaids, and she introduced Ben and his friends as someone she met prior. We were always having like house parties or room parties, so we invited them over. We just spent a lot of time together from there, and then we became boyfriend and girlfriend. Um, we had a long distance relationship for a long time, and then rekindled things like over the years, and started dating a little bit more seriously. I thought she was gorgeous the first time I met Monique. Jokingly, I said, oh, I would marry her. And it's just funny that I'm actually going to marry her. I always tell my friends this. They always ask, when was this the moment that you noticed that you could be with Monique forever? I was like, it was COVID. Because we were locked down, essentially, and we literally did everything together. We woke up together, we made breakfast together, we watched TV together, we cooked dinner together, and then we literally did the same thing oh, the next day. And I said to myself, wow, I could actually be with this person for life. One of the things that I love about Monique is that she allowed me to see what unconditional love is. And I've always said like, I'm forever in debt to Monique because of that. Right after I moved back from LA, I was like, I know this is who I'm gonna marry. The first um, idea I had was going to Aspen to uh, propose to her, but she couldn't get off during that week. So I had to scratch that idea. So I just, on a random Saturday, uh, said, I'm gonna do it. He was like sweating and like barely talking. And I'm like, are you hot? And he was like, yeah, it's a little hot in here. My food's spicy. Mind you, he's African, he eats spicy food all the time. I don't even think I asked Modi, honestly. Nope. Because I was so nervous, I didn't even know what to say. Well, you said for your proposal, so then I don't yeah. you'd have to ask me anything. I see movies and they usually have like a whole spill about what they're supposed to say. Like, we met on this day, I love you so much. No, I was super nervous. I didn't know what to say, but I just showed her the ring and she knew. I couldn't have asked for a better proposal. And even when I look back and I'm like, how did you not see the signs? Like, that's how perfect he did it. Shein is my go-to for like all my summer looks because they're convenient, they're easy, and they always have my trends and like my fashion pieces. So like if I am going on vacation, that is my first go-to for bathing suits, two pieces, cover-ups, accessories. Like I probably will buy my entire wardrobe from Shein. If I have work events, like and if there's ever a theme, it's always Shein. Like I just know they're always gonna have what I'm looking for. So this is my veil that I actually wore in my engagement shoot from Shein that everyone was obsessed with. And this dress I ordered specifically for my backyard trip and what I love most about it is the sparkle on this dress. Like when I wear this at the club and the girls are wearing their gold, the gold is gonna shimmer off the sparkles. Going back to, you know, my childhood, I was a super uh, Saved by the Bell fan. Um, so seeing Zach and Kelly get married in Vegas, uh, it's kind of like- We gotta this, recreate a this is This is my, uh, my Kelly Kapowski. <laughs> Like if I had to choose my experience and how it would be, it would be very similar to that, like very lighthearted and fun. I don't know, I'm super girly, so this is like right up my alley. Like I'm like the super hopeless romantic. This is my rom-com moment for sure, so I'm taking advantage of it. Yeah, super fun, super relaxing. Um, something that obviously, you know, 20 years down the line with me and Monique are, you know, older, you know, with our children and, um, you know, in our house, we can look back and say, you know, look what we did with we this. Got look, in Vegas. look what we did with Sheehan at the Love Chapel. Hey guys. Hi Mike. How are you? Nice to meet you. Welcome to the Shein Love Chapel. Nice Thank you. you. So I'm gonna take you to the boutique yeah. and I'm gonna dazzle you guys out. Okay. You ready? Yes. Let's do this. I hope you dress. Thank you. That's so cute. Shein. Is it? Yeah. Oh, I love it. <laughs> Perfect. 
So tell me a little bit about your wedding vision. What yeah. do you feel like the vision is for the wedding? Very vintage, high glam, but very like fun, exciting, and like, you know, like chic. Well, I love your <laughs> style already. Thank you. I love your dress is so cute. Thank so you. of course we're gonna focus on the bride first. Of course, of course. And then the groom. Not to say you come second, but you do because we have to make sure everything matches cohesively. It's typically all about us. Yeah, of course. What's the style that you like? When it comes to wedding dresses, I like to showcase my silhouette, but yeah. I also want to go out of the box and do maybe like a ball gown. I feel like a princess. Okay. All right. I think we should do this. Yeah. You ready? Excited. Let's do it. All right. Awesome. Let's go. Very nice. I'm loving it. Oh, here comes the bride. Wow, so gorgeous. Do you guys want to come over here? Yeah. Of course. <laughs> Don't do that on wedding day. <laughs> how do you like the color? I love it. It's I love beautiful. how you pick the blush tones. I would have never thought to do that for myself, and it does pick up on my skin tone like you mentioned, so I appreciate that. How do you feel in the good. suit? Well, white's always like, you know, good classic it's clean. and good uh, classic look, so yeah. white is good. So this just has really beautiful embellishments um, around the waist. Mm -hmm. So it kind of like brings everything a little tighter mm -hmm. and cleaner, right? You do feel snatched. Yeah, so it gives you a really, be I mean, you already have a beautiful figure, Thank but it you. already just gives you more so. Yeah, I love beautiful. the ruching. I know we talked about the ruching. I love the embellishment. Um, and I didn't know it had a slit, so That's I put cute, it on. Right? So I love yeah. the sexiness of that. Yeah, and I feel like a princess. Oh, so nice. So, a scale of one to ten, what do you think? Eight. Oh. High eight. Eight's good. High eight. Yeah. Very good. What, what about you? I'm eight. Eight. Yeah? Yeah. Oh, I love it. Very classic. Yes, this one. Nice I and love clean. It. Oh. Looks beautiful. You look beautiful. Thank you. How do you feel? I love it. It's it, like, it feels like this is the one. Yeah, that's <laughs> funny. So, I can tell by your posture and yes. the way you're walking and everything. And the beadwork is really beautiful. Mm -hmm. How do you feel, Ben? Oh, no, she looks be beautiful. Yeah, and what about you? For you? Oh, I like this one. I prefer this one over the white one. It looks beautiful. Yeah. And it fits you so well already. I agree. And this is without alterations. Mm -hmm. Imagine with alterations, yeah. you're gonna look amazing. Yeah. Why don't you guys step up here? I like this tone a lot better. Yeah. I feel like the other one was more pinky, and like yeah. you said, this is more champagne. Yeah, it's yeah. beautiful. Nice. And when you go in the light, like in daylight, mm -hmm. sometimes fabrics just take on yeah. a different appearance too. Um, so it will feel a little lighter, but then once you're indoors, it will be more truly this color. Scale of one to 10? I definitely say yes. Oh boy. So a 10. A 10, we love it. And what about you, Ben? Nine. Yeah? No. <laughs> this was too easy. Your great you, extra you, job. You, you, <laughs> I was gonna say, I should do this for you. <laughs> yes. All right, let's go get married. Thank yeah. you. Let's do it. Party, 10 out of 10. 100, out, 100 out of 10. No, no. 100 out of 10. Definitely music, 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. Even the people, like the everyone around was super, super sweet. Okay, my conjoint bachelor, bachelorette vibe that I wanted, checked off. You got it. Checked off. Well, Mikey, Mikey, the Mikey is amazing. I could tell the energy that he was giving us was going to be great. Uh, Mikey knew what he was doing and he came to do. He yeah. knew your style right off the back. Right he off was the like, back. single person? Yeah. And he was like, oh. Yeah, I can see that for you. It showed that like he listened, he paid attention, but he also put his flair on it, which I love because I would have never picked a, like a blush dress for myself. Like I'm not traditional where I would have been like super white traditional dress, but like the added, the added touch of like blush made me like think outside of the box a little bit, which I would have never thought for myself. The black suit, uh, black tux was actually um, really fitting as far as um, accentuated. So your muscles? Yes. I'm excited about saying I do. Okay. Because I feel like this is the moment that I've been waiting for. And last time we were in Vegas, I was like, let's get married. Typical, hopeless, romantic me. And now it's happening. I can see both of us being really nervous only because outsiders are looking in. Like our family and friends is different, you know? Yeah. Like that gave me anxiety today. Like thinking about the fact that like, I don't know these people. Like they're literally gonna be watching us and I'm gonna be walking down a literal aisle. Even slipping today, I was like, mm, if I slip in front of people I don't know. Like that's the only thing I've been thinking about. Like don't slip, don't fall. All right, I'm not gonna fall. I 
got this. I think Ben and I, five years from today, will be running around our house with little kids. <laughs> I thought both dresses actually were beautiful, but the one she said yes to was also like beautiful. It fits so perfectly. I don't even think we did any alterations. I just got into it and loved it. And because it fits so perfectly, I was able to fit, like you know see myself in it and not have to worry about what it would look like the day of after alterations. So I'm excited. Yeah, I think um, being with someone that you're marrying um, someone that's your best friend and your partner makes everything uh, better. And that's why I don't think I'm nervous. I'm actually excited to see the Love Chapel. I'm very curious on what it's gonna look like. Let's go get married. I'm ready to do this. Thank you. Y'all look good. good. It's like icicles like on your dress. You look amazing. Oh. We are so excited to be a part of your special day. We feel a real kinship with y'all. You know, seeing two people that are taking the leap forward, making a promise to each other, and stepping into the future. That's what it's all about, is taking that step forward. You know, every great love story has to start somewhere. For Lauren and I, ours began in a 12 by 12 room on a sound stage in Atlanta, where hundreds of cameras, exactly. Yeah, so you get it, you get it. We're two peas in a pod, like Lauren said. Yeah. But really, this is the wedding capital of the world. We are honored to add your love story to this great city's history. Hi, now we get into the nitty gritty. Do you, Ben, take this lovely lady right here to be your joyfully united wife to have and to hold from this day forward, for better, for worse, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health, until death do you part. I absolutely do. Yes, I love the absolutely. Right? right? Yes. I love it. <laughs> yes. I know that's right. Go ahead, girl, Monique. Okay. Monique. Yes. Do you take Ben to be your joyfully united husband, to have and to hold from this day forward, for better, for worse, for richer or poorer, in sickness and in health, until death do you part? Every day I say I do. Beautiful! Yes. With the power vested in me by the walls of this Sheen Love Chapel, I now pronounce you ride or die, husband and wife, partner in crime. You may kiss each other. Yes, I know that's right. The Shein Love Chapel is amazing. It like beat my expectations of what I thought it was gonna look like. It's very chic, very retro. It's just beautiful overall. 10 out of 10 for me. We got married. We got married. <laughs> I just married my best friend. We got married at the Love Chapel. Uh, I'm gonna go have a drink. <laughs> My legs weren't shaking, but I felt like I was getting like so nervous that I, I'm like, I need to sit. Oh, okay. You know, like, like my feet weren't hurt, my shoes were fine, but like, and my legs weren't actually shaking, but they did feel like they were like not stable. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm like, get it together, girl, because if you pass out on this thing, it's gonna be too dramatic for me, for my own self. <laughs> Kinda sad. I'm not ready to go. Damn, the life. <laughs> <laughs> 